Hello, everyone out there in Mr. Arnold's workplace law class and credit recovery class in the afternoon. Today, we are looking at section one of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, also known as the Reasonable Limits Clause, and we are looking specifically at something called the Oaks Test. So in today's class, you will have to watch this video, of course. Then you will have to read the case of RV Oaks, which I'm going to read for you. Then you will have to complete an analysis of a case called RV Lepage using this worksheet on the reasonable limits clause, which I will show you how to do at the end of this video. So as I said, the first piece we are going to look at today is section one of the Charter. Now, Section 1 of the Charter states that if a court finds that legislation infringes a right guaranteed under the Charter, the government can try to prove on a balance of probabilities that this breach is justifiable. And the following in this worksheet is a summary of that test determining if Charter infringement can be justified under Section 1. So that means that there is or there are some cases where they can limit your rights under the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. So let's take a look at the case that brought us to that point. Here it is. So the case of R.V. Oaks, and R meaning Regina, or the Queen, against David Edwin Oaks. So David Edwin Oaks was charged with possession of drugs and possession with the intent to traffic. At the time of the trial, a person charged with drug possession was automatically charged with possession with the intent to traffic. If a person was found guilty of possession of drugs, Section 8 of the Narcotic Control Act, now called the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act, placed the onus on the person charged to prove that there was no intent to traffic. If the accused could not prove lack of intent, the accused would automatically be found guilty of the charge. Mr. Oakes challenged this section of the NCA, or Narcotic Control Act, as an infringement of his Section 11 charter right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty. So the Supreme Court of Canada, which is listed here as the SCC, found that Section 8 of the NCA violated Section 11 of the Charter, 11 subsection D. The court then considered whether the government could justify this infringement under Section 1 of the Charter, where Section 1 requires the government to show that the law in question is a reasonable limit on charter rights. The court found that the government failed to satisfy Section 1 of the Charter, and as a result, held that Section 8 was of no force or effect. And therefore, Mr. Oakes was allowed to go free, or was not charged for intent to traffic at least. So what you are going to do today is you are going to place this test upon the case of R. V. Lepage. So you are going to read R.V. Lepage, or you are going to get read and write to open it and read it for you, like so. And you are going to answer the questions on the Reasonable Limits Clause Worksheet. If you have any questions, please post your question on the classroom page, or if you are in class with me, please come on over and ask me for some help. Talk to you soon.